I know it's early, but let's talk a little bit about the next Call of Duty. And let's talk about the theme of each Call of Duty game. The next Call of Duty, it hasn't been officially announced. They haven't said what it's going to be called, if it's going to be called Modern Warfare 4. And a lot of people say, well, it's not going to be called Modern Warfare 4 because Modern Warfare 3 in the campaign, the guy dies. I don't know. I've actually never played the campaign in any of the Call of Duty games. And I know there's a lot of people out there that are just like me. They've never played it. But whenever they're making these games, there always has to be a theme about the game. Everything has to match. So whatever's going on in the campaign, they got to translate it over into the multiplayer. And then that's why they limit certain things. They limit the kind of maps, the kind of kill streaks, the kind of guns that we get to use. That guy was hiding really good, wasn't he? But when you think about the theme of these games, does it really matter? Think back to Modern Warfare 3. Remember, in Modern Warfare 3, we didn't have the Blackbird. We didn't have the V-Set. And one of the excuses for getting that bootleg version, which was the advanced UAV, which was a dumbed down version, that was whack. We want the real Blackbird. We want what we see right here in Black Ops 2. We wanted that in Modern Warfare 3, but hey, the Blackbird was discontinued. So they couldn't use it because it didn't fit the theme of the game. But we don't care. Or I don't care. When I'm playing the multiplayer, I want to have the guns, the kill streaks, the maps. I want to have all the stuff that makes the game fun, that makes the game good. I don't care what the theme is. I don't care if we're in 1901. I don't care if we're in 2021. I just want all the good stuff in the game. I want to see the Harrier come back. Remember the Harrier in Modern Warfare 2? I want to see the Blackbird. I want to see the nuke. I, I, I want to see the North Korean nuke. I want to see the guns come back. I want to see the Spaz-12 from Modern Warfare 2 come back. I want to see the FAMAS from Modern Warfare 2 come back. I just want a mixture of everything that's good. I, I want diversity. I don't want to hear that excuse. Well, I, we couldn't use that because it doesn't fit the theme. And another thing I've always wondered is what if they made a Call of Duty game without the campaign? Would the game still do well? Like, let's say they make a Call of Duty. It has no campaign at all. It's just multiplayer only. Would the games be even better? Would they have more content? Would they have more maps? Would they have more of everything because there's no campaign? It's just multiplayer. They give you maps. What, what if we had a multi-themed multiplayer? What if we had some maps from back in the day, some futuristic maps. What if we had a mixture? We had some old guns, some new guns. Obviously, I guess the new guns would be better than the old guns, but they could splash. I'm sure they could balance out the guns, give it advantages, disadvantages to make it work. But when you really think about it, where are they making their money? Are they, they're not really making their money on the campaign because when they do stuff like DLC, they never give you campaign DLC. They don't ever give you some more additional missions. They just give you multiplayer maps and stuff like that. So why are they focusing so much on the campaign? It's almost like they feel like, okay, if we don't have a campaign, we can't release a Call of Duty game because we don't have a theme. And that brings me to another thought is how come they never explored the possibility of an all-star Call of Duty game? You know how TV shows like Survivor, they'll have like a couple of seasons where it's an all-star season. They'll bring back certain people from previous seasons and then throw them all together, have them compete again. Aren't you surprised that they haven't done that in Call of Duty? Had a Call of Duty all-star game. They bring back a lot of the favorite maps from all the Call of Duties. A lot of the guns put them together all in one game. I guess maybe they don't want to do that because if you think about it, they would basically just be giving us stuff that we've already bought before. I guess that makes sense, but I always thought about DLC. What if they just brought back all the maps from previous games? Like right now, we're playing Black Ops 2. What if there was a DLC that came out that gave us all the maps from the first Black Ops? Don't you think people would get that? Like imagine playing on those old maps with everything new in this game that we have. 
with all the new score streaks and everything, reliving those moments, playing on firing range and summit and grid, WMD. You know, there's a whole bunch of maps. Well, just imagine it. Imagine playing Modern Warfare 3 with all the Modern Warfare 2 maps. I mean, they brought a couple of them back and they played, they played for the most part much better than they did in Modern Warfare 2 because there weren't new tubes flying like on Terminal. Terminal was a new tube fest. You just saw new tubes flying all over the place all the time. But in the Modern Warfare 3 version, it wasn't like that. So uh, that, you know, bringing back that effect, that old school effect, the memories, I mean, would it be a bad idea? Because obviously we want new stuff, we want new maps, but some of the maps from the past were so good, you know, we wouldn't mind playing on them again. And some of these games, you know, sometimes you like the game that came out before. So maybe Modern Warfare 3 was out, but you liked Modern Warfare 2 much better. And you can't go back and play Modern Warfare 2 because for the most part, Modern Warfare 2 is full of hackers, especially like Call of Duty 4. You can't go back and play Call of Duty 4. I mean, you could try, but a lot of games, there's going to be hackers. So you can't even play those older games. So if they just had DLC where you could buy and play all the maps again and use the guns again, do you think anybody would be interested? Because I know a lot of people would, especially for stuff like Call of Duty 4, Modern Warfare 2, World at War. I mean, there's always people saying, I'd love to play on those maps again or play that game again, but they can't because the support gets dropped after the first few years or so. So it's infested with hackers. So what do you guys think about that? Do you think that the themes are necessary? Do you care about the theme in your game when you're playing on multiplayer? Do you really care what setting it's set in or do you just want the best collection of everything you can get in the multiplayer? A limitless theme Call of Duty could be amazing because they wouldn't be held back by a time frame, nothing like that. They could just put everything in the game that they need to put in there.